holding on a cigarette He's in the sky, deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today we are doing a two-in-one video. I'm going to start doing them this way. Uh, so that way we make it short, sweet, informative, to the point. So what, <clears throat> let me explain what I'm going to do. The first part of this video, we're going to be doing a recipe build, a DIY recipe build from a flavor by Central Vapors, which I will put their link down below to this product. It's called Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry Shortcake. Central Vapors. Um, all right, so traditionally, I'm not a dessert kind of guy, but almost everything that they put past me, I'm not mad at, not disappointed with, nothing. I like pretty much everything they put past me so far. There's nothing that I can say has been, eh, you know? Um, some I like better than others, but everything's been pretty cool. Um, so we're going to do the recipe build on the first part of this video, and then it'll time lapse and come back three days later, and then we're going to review it. Now, having said that, the concentrate once again, strawberry shortcake by Central Vapors, and I'll put a link down below. Uh, everything that I do DIY, I make for myself one or two builds. For this build, I'm doing an 80-20 uh, VG to PG, 5% milligram nicotine by volume, 2% sweetener. This is a 250 mil bottle. This always, I mean, almost always, this one, and I have a 70-30 and one more that's 60-40, all favoring the VG side. I always keep them done up like this so that I can go ahead knock it out it's pre-blended makes things nice simple easy and you don't have to take quite as much time with the blending all right so i always do that that's just how i roll here in my <clears throat> juicy vapor kitchen pause for station identification by the way if you hear all the little yelling and stuff in the background my little nine-year-old is in the other room gaming and chatting with her friends so she's having a good time I'm having a good time it's all good alright cool so what I'm gonna do is I like to pretty much pretty much I like to start everything off at 15 percent when it's new to me for the first time um, with fruit I automatically go there but with with already compounded already mashed up mingled flavors like this I always try to do it at 15 percent and then I'll fill the bottle just and we're gonna use a 10 milliliter bottle I always fill it just a little light that is to leave room for a little extra flavor or a little extra sweetener because you never know which way it's gonna go and so when you're building your first build or recipe build you want to do it that way simply so that you have a little bit of room to go at the end after getting a, a taste test on it all right we're gonna use this one here I don't have one of my needles out but this one's got that little plastic lip at the bottom and here we go here we go here we go here we go now I like this one all right All right, right there at that 1.5, you see it? Boom, yeah, baby. Fifteen percent on a 10 milliliter bottle is 1.5 milliliters. Does not take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cap this. And you notice I still have one glove on uh, simply because we are mixing some chemicals, but most of it's already pre-blended. So I still have one glove on. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give this another shake shake. 
you can already see I've been using it. It's already down towards the lower third. Um, yeah, I, I found that when I started doing this, it really made life a lot easier. And again, I said we're going to fill it up to just a little light at the top. Just a little. So if I need to put a couple drops or drops or whatever, there's your room right there. I can do that at the end after maybe giving myself. Usually what I'll do is, uh, where did I put the cat? What a, um, dude, yeah, did I not pull a cap off for this? All right, well, I'll pull, I'll pull a cap off. Uh, maybe there's some here in my little bag of tricks. All right. Voila. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and seal this all up. And we will see you back in three days, three days, three days, for this little little bottle right here of Strawberry Shortcake by Central Vapors. Ah, oh, I, I am really actually looking forward to taste testing this, even though I don't like dessert flavors per se. I'm just thinking of South Park per se. The Goss. All right. Lettuce uh, and tomato. Lettuce and tomato. No, let us get out of here. I'm sorry. It's a goofball day. Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the sky, deep in the dark. In a mix, he knows the mark. What's good, peeps? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel for the review of a uh, concentrate put out by Central Vapors. It's a dessert flavor called Strawberry Shortcake. Check it out. I'll put the link down below again. Um, so a couple days ago, we made that into our 10 milliliter bottle, which you can see I have labeled. We're back to taste test that and uh, see what's up. Anyway, we'll be using my uh, iJoy RDTA combo. It's not focusing in very good there. We're going to go ahead. You can see my uh, fill tank is nice and clear of the wick. Where is it? Dang it. I need to get the lighting back better over here. All right. So, let's go ahead and get that filled up. And again, I'm using the uh, iJoy RDTA combo. I really, really am really starting to like these a lot, a lot, a lot. They are the best of both worlds. Instead of uh, using like a mutation and then having to pull it off and then getting, let's make sure we get it over the top there. Um, instead of making it so that, um, you know, for me, I, I, I tend to overdo it and then I get spillage everywhere. With this, you get the nod to the old school tank. You know, you cut the wicks right about there, so they're not they're not having to pour all the way down in there. Uh, and here is the airflow hole that I've got it about halfway wide open. Um, let's go ahead and do a there. You go. Cool. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so it's got the best of both worlds of of a uh, traditional tank with the the you can change the, the coils, no spillage. You can have that tank full of liquid, but still change your flavors on a dime by pulling out those wicks that you put in there. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. I've got a let's see what battery I got in here. An Efest 3000 Ma. Uh, 35 amp high screen. That's what I got. That's what I'm sticking to. 
And I'm using this on my um, brass AR uh, mechanical. I really love mechanicals. Having this tank with this one, it not only matches, yes, I like aesthetics people. Love aesthetics. All right. It's just got to look right <laughs> and work right. But, um, yeah, I, I really like that on, on here. It's, 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 it's really joyful, uh, eye joyful. Um, yeah, I, I really do like it. It, it. And the nice thing about these here, seriously, is if you take care of it, it'll last you forever. It really will. All right, moment of truth. Wow. Wow, okay, um, that is strange. I, I never thought that you'd be able to put some e-juice flavors together and come out with strawberry shortcake, but weirdly and surprisingly, this works. Um, I'm going to get one more good roll around swish in my mouth. Okay, what the heck happened there? Make sure I got it on tight. Um, that is really, really, actually pretty good. I don't like dessert flavors. I've never made any bones about it with, with my e-juice. Um, now, strawberry shortcake is like my top two desserts. If I was to say anything about this, um, it is it's pretty darn good. I think maybe I'd like to have a, a drop or two more of the strawberry. Um, whenever and that's just maybe my palate. Whenever I have a dessert and it's got a fruit in there, I like to have the more dominant of the fruit. Uh, again, that's just me. I think. Wow, that is that is surprisingly good I stick by my strawberry statement I think maybe a drop or two more of the strawberry which I'll probably try I think up here in my cabinet here I got strawberry yes I do some strawberry I'll probably uh, put a few drops of that in there and then uh, if there's any additional feedback I have I'll, I'll do it in a separate video. Um, th this, this, though, how, however, that's a real deal, man. That's, uh, that's pretty darn good. I would not think it possible. A lot of the dessert flavors that I try typically are not in the realm of what it really is as far as being like-minded to the real thing. This here, though, I I'm going to go ahead and add that on my list of of, of flavors that do work uh, and again I think maybe just a tad more on the strawberry but I am not mad at that at all anyway guys hey I, I want to say thanks for stopping by um, if you have anything that you want to see me review uh, you know you could tell I'm just the real deal dude I don't have any hyper good cool lines and all that stuff I'm just me um, so I'll put the linkage and stuff down below so you can get the spec text of it. Um, but if you're thinking about it, I'd go ahead and try it. Not everybody has, yeah. I, as I always like to say, no two vapors have the same palate or, you know, no two vapors are, are the same. And that's true. So uh, maybe it's because I like fruits a little bit more that that little recommendation, uh, that nod right there to the strawberry uh, is in there. But... Don't let that stop you from going to buy this. Trust me, if I 
I, I'm more critical on this than I am on most other stuff simply because it's a dessert flavor. Anyway, I think it's time for us to get out of here. Later, y'all. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.